The International Court of Justice has delivered its ruling in the Israel genocide case. The ICJ has directed the Israeli government to abide by the conventions of International Convention on Genocide. It has directed Israel to prevent loss of life, ensure no direct incitement of violence takes place against Palestinians and immediate provisions are made to ensure the delivery of aid. The ICJ, however, did not accept South Africa's call for an immediate suspension order for Israel's ongoing operations in Gaza. While ICJ's provisional order did not call for a ceasefire, its strong worded order is being seen as a condemnation of Israel's position. Starting the proceedings, Judge Donahue mentioned that Hamas attacks on Israel that killed over 1,200 Israelis and other foreign nationals, she acknowledged the extent of human tragedy unfolding in the region and expressed concern about the continuing loss of life and human suffering. Thereafter, the ICJ acknowledged that allegations against Israel fall within the provisions of the Genocide Convention. It further admitted that sufficient evidence of dispute exists for a genocide case and that it will not throw the case away, as argued by Israel. Out of the court's 17-judge panel, 16 judges were present in the session. The ruling did not specifically deal with the core accusations of the case, which is whether or not genocide has been committed by Israel. Instead, the provisional ruling focuses on the urgent intervention sought by South Africa. South Africa has brought the case accusing Israel of breaching the 1948 UN Genocide Convention. According to the Gaza Health Authorities run by Hamas, more than 25,000 people have died in the Gaza Strip since October. The real issue, all your questions are about Israel, but the real issue is the people of Palestine who are being killed every day. The people of Palestine who are sleeping in the cold. The people of Palestine who are denied food, water and energy. That is the critical issue that all of us should focus upon.